it's Kenzie. Welcome back. Today I'm so excited because I'm doing one of my favorite videos ever. A foundation review and wear test on this foundation. I haven't tried this out before so I'm excited to do my first review on this foundation. It's the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Comfort Matte Transfer Resistant Foundation. And I've heard amazing reviews about this. I haven't heard any um, bad reviews like on YouTube about this product. So I'm so excited to try this out for y'all. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and read out some information and then we'll get into this video. So, they have 40 shades, which I love they have that for drugstore foundation because it's really hard to find my perfect shade when at the drugstore because you can't like test them out and they don't have a lot of, usually they don't have a lot of shades. So, Shout out to CoverGirl for coming out with 40 shades. I also love the shades range from super light to super dark because it's really hard for super dark girls because they can't find their shade and it's really hard for super light girls to not find their shade. So I think it's great that CoverGirl is doing this. The lightest shade is Fair Porcelain L10 and the darkest shade is Espresso D90. And if you see me looking over here, I have a notepad that I wrote down all the information that I want to remember to tell y'all about. So, I love, love, love that they have so many shades. I've already said that, but I'm just, I'm obsessed. I think every drugstore foundation needs to come out with tons of shades like this. I also wanted to mention that they have the same amount of shades on CoverGirl.com as they do on UltaBeauty.com. So, I'm going to go ahead and read y'all the little description. From your favorite CoverGirl foundation line comes a matte formula that isn't drying or cakey. True Blend Matte Made Liquid Foundations Formula is developed with Flexi Hold technology that creates a strong yet flexible film on skin for durability and comfort, while the mattifying powders absorb oil and minimize pores for a soft, matte, flawless finish up to 12 hours of wear. So, I have, if y'all don't know, I have combo skin, so I get really oily, but also I have like dry patches as well. So, I'm really looking for this foundation to stay on my skin really well. I actually was going to read y'all a couple of reviews, but I decided against it just because it's a lot of reviews to read and they're kind of long. I just, I don't really want this to be a super like drug out long video. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is prime with my Mario Badescu Skincare Facial Spray. This is Aloe Herbs and Rose Water and it smells just like roses. So, I'm going to spray this all over my face. So I'm starting with a hydrating one just because I do have dry patches and I don't want this foundation to cling to that because a lot of matte foundations for me will cling to my dry patches and not really cover my oiliness. So I'm going to use this NYX Hydra Touch Hydrating Primer to go over just some dry spots on my face. Then I'm going to take a little bit of my NYX Angel Bell Skin Perfecting Primer. This is really good to smooth out your face, make your pores look smaller and tighter and it just it works really really well i actually think this is better than benefit professional okay last primer i promise now i'm taking this hourglass light correcting primer this is from the ambient line it's in the shade mood light okay so i'm going to use my kat von d lock it foundation brush in number 10 for this side of my face and I'm going to use my Real Techniques Face and Body Sponge, this is pink, on this side of my face. Because I want to see the difference between a blender and a sponge, I mean a sponge and a brush and see which side has more coverage because I love me a full coverage finish. Okay, so this is what the bottle looks like if y'all didn't see it earlier. I actually got the shade I thought would work best for me, which is L80, which is called True Ivory. Which is really, I'm really a lot right now, so. But yeah. Pump, which I love pumps. Nice glass bottle. I never saw if this was supposed to be full coverage or medium coverage, but I'm pretty sure it's medium coverage, but buildable. So, I'm going to start. Ooh, this color looks kind of orange, you see. Let's just, let's make it work. Okay. Ooh, it's orange. <laughs> we just, we're going to have to make it work, y'all. It does have a scent. Pretty good coverage though. 
You know what it smells like? Yes, it does. It smells just like the Love and Tan Ultra Dark Self Tanner. Oh, the um, the bronzing mousse. It smells just like that. I think it looks really pretty. This is definitely probably the best foundation brush ever. But let's just let's look closer. Yeah, it looks really pretty. Natural finish. Um, it doesn't really look matte on me right now. But that may be because of the primaries I used. But I'm going to go ahead and use a sponge on my other side and see if that looks better. I'm also going to wet this a little more. I love this sponge because it's so freaking big that literally it does your face so quickly. See how big it is? So. I think it looks pretty good. Do I think it's orange for me? Absolutely. I do feel like it's accentuating my pores a little. But it may just be the lighting. It looks really good on the video, I feel like. But I don't know about the shade. The shade kind of bothers me. It gets really light. But... I wonder if it's going to oxidize. I always have a problem, like not a problem, but I'm always scared that foundation's going to, the foundation's going to oxidize. So I'm going to go ahead and let this sit on my skin for a couple minutes, and then I'll come back and see if I want to do apply another layer, and then I'll con use concealer and powder and all that, and yeah. Hey y'all, so I ended up just um, doing one layer and applying the rest of my makeup. I have applied every single bit of my makeup today. And I really like it. I think it looks really, really pretty. It doesn't look... I was really feeling like it looked kind of cakey earlier. But after I applied my beloved Morphe setting spray, it actually has sank into my skin really well. And everything looks really good. The only thing is, even after I applied my concealer and my powder, it still felt kind of sticky. Now it's went away. But it still just feels kind of... Well, it hasn't went away. But I think it's because of my setting spray. But it is kind of sticky. But it's not like unbearable. But yeah. It is 225 and it was about 130 when I no. I think it was about 115 when I started applying this foundation. And I'm gonna go throughout the day and just let y'all know how I think it looks. If I think it's separating a little bit. Um so or just if I think it looks crazy or cakey, so. So let's go throughout the day and see how this foundation looks. And I actually asked my cousin how he thought it looked and he said it looked perfect. So we'll see. Alright y'all. So I'm outside right now and I can't really tell. But I think it looks really good in natural lighting. Like really good. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Um Yeah. It's showing a little bit of pores in certain areas, but it's not like ridiculous. So, I'll see y'all in a little bit right now. I'm about to go eat because I'm pretty hungry. Hey guys, it is 529 and I thought I'd give you an update on this foundation. So, I've had it on for about three and a half to four hours and I think it looks pretty good until I have lipstick down here. So just ignore that. Um... I do think it looks better in photos and videos than it does in person, in my personal opinion. I feel like it kind of looks kind of makeup y, but it's not horrible like makeup y. It just looks like you have foundation on. And it does kind of look a little cakey, but it's like a weird cakey. Like, it's cakey in a good way. Like, it just looks like a nice, um, flawless, full coverage foundation. Um,. I do feel like it's wearing off on my nose a little bit and also my chin, but I have had it on and I haven't touched up with anything. So let's go on natural lighting and see. 
But yeah, I do, under no circumstance do I think it's matte. In my opinion, it's a semi-matte finish or a demi-matte finish. But, if I would come back and let y'all know that I think it's actually the lighting in the house that makes it look cakey. Because every time I use natural lighting, because you know, natural lighting is where it really like, um makes it look really good so I think it looks gorgeous because of natural lighting like I'm outside right now and it looks amazing it has this beautiful shine to it and I do apply my Mario Badescu spray the rose water throughout the day and it really helps lighten up my face but yeah it looks really really pretty um it kind of looks the same as it did when I applied it so yeah but it's definitely a demi matte or semi matte finish it has a really pretty glow so I'll see y'all in a couple hours and let y'all know what I think about it later on. Hopefully, it goes as good as it's going right now because I think I look the bomb. Hey! So, I've had this foundation on since. Uh, I've had this foundation on for eight hours. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let me say that I think it's kind of bad now. Let me ask how do y'all think my foundation looks? I feel like it's wearing off and looking kind of oily and crazy and no I like it really like it flash your light on me I want to see the camera I think it looks good it's showing a lot of my pores though yeah I would say a lot of your pores are showing well not a lot but I do have I tiny say, ones I would just say you you have some it's showing some of your pores hey y'all so it is 11:35 right now and I've had this foundation on for Oh, 10 hours? I have two hours left to do it, but guess what? I'm not making it. So, moral of the story, I think this foundation is really, really good. The reason why I think in the beginning I was kind of skeptical about it, because if you notice in the video, I'm kind of tic-tac-toe. I'm like, oh, I think it looks so pretty, natural, um, semi-matte finish, and then I'm like, ooh, it looks cakey, it's showing on my pores. The reason why I think that is because I think the lighting in this house is horrible. Because if it looks horrible in fake lighting and natural lighting, it will look even worse. But it looks amazing in natural lighting, so I think, um, that it's lighting here. Also, I really quickly want to mention, my skin has been super dry lately, and I didn't use really good primers. I didn't use my favorites for a matte foundation. But do I think this foundation is matte? Absolutely not. It has a beautiful glow to it. Also, in the beginning I said the color I thought was orange. The color ended up not looking orange on me. I don't know if it's because I used a really light concealer or if it's because of the lighting again. But if it is a little too orange, I can use my LA Girl Blue Neutralizer to neutralize the color. But yeah. Um... I do think it looks pretty crazy right now, but also because I've had it on for 10 hours, I'm kind of oily, and it's time to take this foundation off. But yeah, I'm going to try this out tomorrow, I think, and maybe come back at the end of the video and let y'all know what I think, but it's time to take this foundation off. I'm so tired right now. Also, it's not normal to leave makeup on for 12 hours, so I probably would never do that, but yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and if... I forgot to put something in here I didn't put it in then I will do a little clip or a text right now or I will put it in the description box below but thank y'all so much for watching I hope you have an amazing night God bless you and I will see y'all soon